Namaste. Hello, and welcome to Practicing with Patanjali. I'm Lizzie Lassiter, and I wanted to talk a little bit today about this concept of samtosha, which is one of my favorite concepts from the Yoga Sutra of Patanjali, about which we've just completed a wonderful course with Yoga Journal Magazine. So if you want to find out more about that course, please go to lizzielassiter.com slash sutra. It's launching soon. It's going to be really, really fun. So samtosha is one of the niyamas, which are sometimes called the sort of ten commandments of yoga. Because it's a list of ten, there's five yamas and five niyamas. And the yamas are the things we're supposed to stop doing when we begin to walk down the path of yoga. And the niyamas are the things we're supposed to start doing. So samtosha is one of the niyamas. It's trying to move into the light. I'm in, oh no, <laughs> I'm in China right now and there's a gorgeous sunset and the Great Wall right outside my window. Um, so the things that we're supposed to start doing, one of them is called samtosha, which is of course my favorite because it means contentment. And the sense of the word contentment as I understand it, from Patanjali, is that it's not sort of an idea of happiness that just falls down on you from the sky, or happiness that we feel when we get a new iPhone, something external. In fact, Samtosha is a kind of inner contentment. And it's very clearly understood as something to be cultivated and something to be chosen, something to be co-created with this dance with the universe that we're all in. So I have a little story, which I wrote about in my Sunday Shavasana series, which is an email newsletter you might want to be getting. If you go to www.livingwiththebuddha.com, I send out a short email twice a month. So we're in China, and I went to visit the Forbidden City, which is like the central attraction of Beijing. And I didn't bring my passport. And there's all these security checks, and apparently you cannot get into the Forbidden City without a passport nowadays. So I missed it. It was kind of um, the only day I had, and I couldn't get in. And I was really devastated and embarrassed and disappointed. But I thought a lot about that experience and what it can teach me about Samtosha. Am I going to let it ruin my day, my week, my trip, my story about the trip, what I tell myself about the trip? In fact, Maybe you've had a similar type of experience and there's this great Buddhist concept called the second arrow, which the first arrow is not getting into the forbidden city, but the second arrow is everything I then tell myself about that. All of the stirring myself up that I then do in the aftermath of the experience, which was to some some extent unavoidable. I made a mistake. I traveled halfway across Beijing, which is enormous, city of 16 million people, on the one day I had for sightseeing on my trip, and I couldn't get in. So when I think about Samtosha, oh no, I've gone dark. <laughs> when I think about Samtosha in this context, um, I actually feel that what Patanjali and the Yoga Sutra has to say about it is incredibly optimistic because I'm empowered to choose contentment um, and that that in fact is part of my yoga practice to um, rewrite the narrative that I tell myself about the experience and hold it with a soft hand. 
So that's what I'm working on in real time, not um, beating myself up about missing something that might have been gorgeous. So that's Samtosha. If you like learning more about the Yoga Sutra, it has definitely enriched my teaching, my yoga teaching, and my personal yoga practice immeasurably to study this formidable ancient text, foundational text of our discipline. Um, so the course is launching at the end of September, and if you go to lizzielasseter.com slash sutra, you'll find your way there. There's a great little promo video that you can watch. So sending you a big namaste across the skies. Until next time. Bye-bye. Ni hao. That, just, that means hello. That's the only thing I learned. I haven't figured out how to say goodbye yet. But ni hao means hello, okay? Ni hao. <laughs>